Hi, I'm Dr. Dave, the pineal gland, also called the pineal body, epiphysis cerebri, epiphysis or the third eye, is a small endocrine gland in the vertebrate brain. It produces melatonin, a hormone that affects the modulation of wake-slash-sleep patterns and photoperiodic, seasonal, functions. It is shaped like a tiny pine cone, hence its name and is located near to the center of the brain, between the two hemispheres, tucked in a groove where the two rounded thalamic bodies join. Unlike much of the rest of the brain, the pineal gland is not isolated from the body by the blood-brain barrier system. The pineal gland is reddish-gray and about the size of a pea, 8 millimeters in humans located just rostrodorsal to the superior colliculus and behind and beneath the stria medullaris, between the laterally positioned thalamic bodies, it is part of the epithalamus. The pineal gland is a midline structure, and is often seen in plain skull X, rays, as it is often calcified. Calcification is typically due to an intake of the fluoride found in water and toothpaste. The pineal body consists in humans of a lobular parenchyma of pinealocytes surrounded by connective tissue spaces. The gland surface is covered by a pile capsule. The pineal gland consists mainly of pinealocytes, but four other cell types have been identified. The pinealocytes consist of a cell body with four, six processes emerging. They produce and secrete melatonin. The pineolocytes can be stained by special silver impregnation methods. The interstitial cells are located between the pineolocytes. Many capillaries are present in the gland, and perivascular phagocytes are located close to these blood vessels. The perivascular phagocytes are antigen-presenting cells. In higher vertebrates neurons are located in the pineal gland, however, these are not present in rodents. In some species, neuronal like peptidergic cells are present. These cells might have a paracrine regulatory function. The pineal gland receives a sympathetic innervation from the superior cervical ganglion. However, a parasympathetic innervation from the sphenopalatin endotic ganglia is also present. Further, some nerve fibers penetrate into the pineal gland via the pineal stalk, central innervation. Finally, neurons in the trigeminal ganglion innervates the gland with nerve fibers containing neuropeptide. The capped human follicles contain a variable quantity of gritty material, called corpora renatia, or acervili, or brain sand. Chemical analysis shows that they are composed of calcium phosphate, calcium carbonate, magnesium phosphate, and ammonium phosphate. Recently, calcite deposits have been described as well. Calcium and phosphorus deposits in the pineal gland have been linked with aging. Pinealocytes and many non-mammalian vertebrates have a strong resemblance to the photoreceptor cells of the eye. Some evolutionary biologists believe that the vertebrate pineal cells share a common evolutionary ancestor with retinal cells. In some vertebrates, exposure of the pineal to light can directly set off a chain reaction of enzymatic events which regulate circadian rhythms. Some early vertebrate fossil skulls have a pineal foramen opening. This cooperates with the physiology of the modern living fossils the Lancrin Tara, and some other vertebrates which have a parietal organ or third eye, which, in some of them, is photosensitive. The third eye represents evolutionists' earlier approach to photoreception. The structures of the third eye and the Tuatara are homologous to the cornea, lens and retina, though the latter resembles that of an octopus rather than a vertebrate retina. The asymmetrical hole consists of the eye to the left and the pineal sac to the right. In animals that have lost the parietal eye, including mammals, the pineal sac is retained and condensed into the form of the pineal gland. Fossils seldom preserve soft anatomy, 
the brain of the Russian Melokurka bird, about 90 million years old, is an exception, and it shows a larger than expected parietal light and pineal gland, in humans and other mammals. The light signals necessary to set circadian rhythms are sent from the eye through the retina hypothalamic system to the suprachiasmatic nuclei, SCN, and the pineal. The pineal gland was originally believed to be a vestigial remnant of a larger organ. As early as 1917 it was known that extract of cow pineals lied in frog skin. Dermatology professor Aaron B. Lerner and colleagues at Yale University, in the hope that a substance from the pineal might be useful in treating skin diseases, isolated and named the hormone melopinin in 1958. The substance did not prove to be helpful as intended, but its discovery helped solve several mysteries such as the fact that the removal of the rat's pineal accelerated ovary growth. Keeping rats in constant light decreased the weight of their pineals, and that both pinealectomy and constant light affect ovary growth to an equal extent, knowledge that gave a boost to the then new field of chronobiology. Melopinin is a derivative of the amino acid tryptophan, which also has other functions in the central nervous system. The production of melopinin by the pineal gland is stimulated by darkness and inhibited by light. Photosensitive cells in the retina detect light and directly signal the suprachiasmatic nucleus, SCN, and training its rhythm to the 24-hour cycle in nature. Fibers project from the SCN to the paraventricular nuclei, PVN which relay the circadian signals to the spinal cord and out via the sympathetic system to superior cervical ganglia, SCG, and from there into the pineal gland. The function S of melopinin in humans is not clear. It is commonly prescribed for the treatment of circadian rhythm sleep disorders. The compound pinoline is also produced in the pineal gland. It is one of the beta carbolines. The human pineal gland grows in size until about 1-2 years of age, remaining stable thereafter, although its weight increases gradually from puberty onwards. The abundant melopinin levels in children is believed to inhibit sexual development, and pineal tumors have been linked with precocious puberty. When puberty arrives, melopinin production is reduced. Calcification of the pineal gland is typical in adults. In animals, the pineal gland appears to play a major role in sexual development, hibernation, metabolism, and seasonal breeding. Pineal cytal structure seems to have evolutionary similarities to the retinal cells of chordates. Modern birds and reptiles have been found to express the phototra-inducing pigment melanopsin in the pineal gland. Avian pineal glands are believed to act like the suprachiasmatic nucleus in mammals. Studies suggest that in rodents the pineal gland may influence the actions of recreational drugs, such as cocaine, and antidepressants, such as fluoxetine, Prozac. And its hormone melopinin can protect against neurodegeneration. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.